So we are not trying to convince you to get into vibrational alignment in order to allow us access. We've got endless access. We're encouraging you to recognize it and attune to it for the benefit of your moment now, your moment now, because you're not living the powerful moments that you could. You're not living with broader perspective. You're not tapping into the biggest resources of well-being. You're not loving like you have the capacity to love and you're not knowing like you have the capacity to know because you are looking so literally and so materialistically and so physically into this vibrational universe that is much bigger than your physical manifestations allow you to understand. So when you start feeling your way, when you think about it, every single thing you want, whether it's a material object, a pile of money, a relationship, an event, a circumstance, it's every single thing that you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it. So you understand at some level that this is an emotional world and that it's all about the moment in time in which you can feel wonderful. And so here we are presenting to you that all of this non-physical energy is focused with you and it makes it easier when someone that you know and love has recently made their transition and now is focusing in a stronger way. It causes Esther to focus more vividly. It causes you to focus more vividly. It calls your attention to the fact that it has always been going, that this continuity of life has always been about that. You keep thinking that the continuity of life is about you're born and then you do stuff and then you die and then you're not here and then you're born and then you do stuff and then you reemerge into non-physical and there is a continuity that is more steady and constant than that there's no gap in the life that any of us are living you see and when you have your time in your body in a conversation with a friend or with someone like Abraham this vivid moment in time when you are fully present and allowing access to all that you know to be in on the conversation that's when you're really alive you see and otherwise You've sort of pinched enough of it off that it's not really that big of a deal. That's not what you came for. You came for the big deal. You came for the co-creative experience. You came for the blending. You came for the continuity. You came for the continuation. You didn't come to fix things that are broken. You came to live the joyous life that you have the potential of living in every moment. You are like the little kids that know it. They want to go from one fun thing to another, to another, to another, to another, don't they? Do they ever see any reason to end the fun? You say... Well, we played a game with you. Is it never enough? And they say, no, it is not ever enough. I want to go from interest to fun, to love, to satisfaction. I want to go from being full of energy to resting a little bit, but I never want my interest in life to wane, not even for a little bit. And oh, I'll sleep every now and again, and I'll withdraw my consciousness. But the moment I'm back into consciousness, I want to be in my body. I want you to be in my body. I want the fullness of who I am to be active and present in this moment. I want to be alive right now, not just alive. I want to be alive. I want to be full of me. I want to be spontaneous, and I want to be sensitive, and I want to be intuitive and I want to be graceful and I want to be flexible and I want to be in the moment and I want to extract from you my partner in conversation all of these things too and I want to, us to rendezvous into higher and higher pitches and places and I want us to feel how fast the energy can go and I want to watch the manifestation that will then actualize around it because of the vibrational intertwining that we're doing and I like to feel the power of the universe I like to know that the energy that creates worlds is coursing through me I want to feel all of this I want to to be alive and that's what you intended over and over and over and over and over and over again but most of you don't remember it past about age five because they've convinced you this world doesn't revolve around you that's not true it does life isn't supposed to be fun that's not true it is supposed to be fun you're not the center of the universe that's not true you are the center of the universe life is supposed to be hard that's not true you just make it hard because somebody told you that it's supposed to be hard Everything's not supposed to work out for you. That's not true. Everything is working out for you. This isn't all fun and games. That's not true. This is all fun and games. There is nothing serious going on here. It's just life and more life and more life. Wow.